Now let's go. Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host today, as always. And today, we actually have a special guest. We have my best friend, a Cowboy fan, Alex. Alex, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing pretty good. So, right. so he's going to be here predicting week 13 of us for t today. So, alright, let's get into it. Starting off with Bills Patriots, you are kind of a Bills fan. Like, you, like, love Josh Allen and all that. So what are your thoughts on going into this game? I mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of a bandwagon thing. But, yeah, the Bills got this. There's, there's no question about it. But the Patriots are doing better now. They're starting to play. That is true. And I think that this win is a kind of must-win game for them. Like yeah. If, but I kind of agree with you on the Bills, even though all the injuries that are happening. They're still a better team. They're just still a better team. See, I'm going to take the Bills. I agree yep. with you. All right. Um, next, we have the Packers and the Bears. This should be an interesting game, actually. Yeah. I did hear <sighs> that Justin Fields will be back this game, so. Mm. Uh -huh. But I, I don't know if Aaron Rodgers will be playing this game. Who I don't. Would be play? Would it be? It wouldn't be. It would be Jordan, Jordan Love. Love. It, it would, would be Jordan Love. Okay. Yeah, that should be an interesting game. Well, hmm. the Bears have a really good running game, and the the Eagles just rushed for three hundred yards on the Packers. I feel yeah. I feel like if Aaron Rodgers isn't playing, there's not a chance the Packers are winning. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. I'm I'm also gonna take the Bears. But that depends. If Aaron Rodgers is playing, they have a chance. But I know. still think the Bears can win this game. This will be their Super Bowl because they don't beat the Packers very often. Mm, okay. All right. Up next, we have the Steelers and the Falcons. This game doesn't really matter. It's, no, there's... It's two really mid-teams playing each other. But I think I like the Steelers coaching more, and that's the reason I'm yeah. going to pick them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. They're a little... All right, up next we have an actually good game, the Vikings and the Jets. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I feel like the Vikings have this still. I like, kind of agree with you on that. The Jets are really starting to play good, but... I don't think Mike White's going to have another perfect game like he did last week. Yeah. I do think the Jets will be able to, like, hold the Vikings to, like, 20-ish points, but still. Yeah. I, I agree with you on the Vikings there. The Vikings got it. Yeah. Okay. Up next, we have the Lions and the Jags. The Lions have looked decent these last few yeah. weeks. They have some moments. Yeah. They kept it close with Buffalo, but, you know, when it all when it was all said and done, the, the, Lions, the Bills came away with that win. And mm -hmm. the Jags, they had a good win last week. I just don't think Trevor Lawrence is their guy. I think he is that guy. He just needs time. Okay, maybe some time might, yeah. might improve him. But I like the Lions in this game, though. The yeah, I think it's going to be a close game, and the Jags, besides last week, have struggled in close games. All right. Yeah. So then, yeah, definitely Lions. Yeah. Up next, we have the Titans and the Eagles. You hate the Eagles. It, it... I... <laughs> Listen, I understand they're good. I don't want them to be good, but I get it. Yeah. They definitely beat the Titans, but... I don't know. I kind of like the Titans in this game. I don't think there's it's a way just, you... It's just something this about this. I just think the Titans have a good run defense, and they'll shut down that Eagles' run game and force them to pass, which is something that they... that they, They're they good at, but they aren't, like, amazing at. Yeah. I, I think if the if the Titan the Titans could easily keep the ball the Eagles off in hand, I actually have the Titans winning this game. Oh. It's just a it's Well, I hope you're right. Yeah. All right. That well, would be great for me as a Cowboys fan. Yeah. Up next we have a the Browns and the Texans. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be it sh as much as I want to see the Texans win this game, it's not going to happen. The Texans yeah. They're by far the worst team in football right now. Mm -hmm. They're on like a whole different tier, and it's not like a good tier. 
And the Browns are coming off a big win. They're getting Deshaun Watson back. Yeah. It, wasn't he back last week? No. That was Chubby Brissett who won them that game. No, but I thought he was back. They just started. Brissett no, over. they he got to go back to practice. Oh, okay. But now he's, like, back playing? He's going to play this game. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. yeah I, mean, I think they would have it even with Brissett, but still. Yeah. All right, up next, we have the NFC East battle for whoever's going to finish third in that division. Giants, Commanders. Ooh, this is going to be a good game. Mm-hmm. The Giants' injuries are what concerns me in this game, and also the Commanders have looked really good recently. I just, like, last week against the Cowboys, I liked the Giants. They were doing really good. They had their struggles in the second half. That's... Yeah, the, the second ha- half is where we came back and yeah. kind of killed but them. But with Washington, I think they've won like, I think they've won five out of their last six games. Mm. I mean, they're looking like a decent football team, and yeah, I think I'm gonna take them to win in this game. Yeah, I, I feel like Carson Wentz has it. It's not Carson Wentz this game. It's Taylor Heineke. Wait. Wait, what happened to Carson Wentz? It's been Taylor Heineke. Wait, what happened to Carson Wentz? They benched him. What? <laughs> Wait, why haven't I known this? <laughs> Taylor Heineke beat the Eagles. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I, when I look at Washington, I think of Carson Wentz. <laughs> no. Oh it's, my god. It's okay. okay. You. It's okay. Not many people watch them anyway. Yeah, I really don't. All right. Fun fact about the Broncos-Ravens game. The Broncos actually signed Lamar Jackson the corner before this game. Yes, there's a a corner named Lamar Jackson. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just think that was funny. (laughs) Yeah, you confused me for a little bit. (laughs) I saw the thing, and it was like, Lamar Jackson to the Broncos. Yeah, Ravens got it unless, I mean, Russell Wilson, you know, decides to play. Yeah, no, those that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, it doesn't happen anymore. They so. are, yeah, yeah, they're one of the worst teams right now. Yep. All right. Isn't it, I saw some like stats, some crazy stats, like they would be they like, like they would the be worst like since like 1960. They haven't what? They're they're at their worst since like 1960 in a lot of stats. An offense, I can believe that. They also, yep. I I heard a stat where I'm pretty sure they would be like eight and two right now if they just put up 16 points every game. Dang. Their defense is really good. So I just, I think this game's going to be, like, close. But, like, you never think Denver's going to win. It's one of those yeah. games. All right. Up next, we have probably the game of the week. My Dolphins taking on the San Francisco 49ers. This is going to be an exciting one. We yeah. talked about this a little bit. We did talk about this yesterday. These if are... you guys can stop their, their run... I mean, you're not going to be able to run the ball. The Dolphins are not going to be able to run it's the It's going to come down to how quick can Tyree Kill and Jalen Model get open. Yep. What they've shown they can do, but there's a lot of, like, yeah. There's a lot of concerns. We're obviously going to be missing our starting tackle this game, which, doesn't, it, which sucks. And, mm-hmm. yeah. But maybe, maybe it's just a sheer bias. I'm still taking the Dolphins to win. It's, yeah, I think it could, it could go either way. It could go either way. Dolphins Both of these got to get their passing game going. So yeah. They're not going to be able to do much else. <laughs> yeah. But that's their strong suit, so that's okay. Yeah, that's been the Dolphins' strong suit. They're one of the most effective offenses in the league when they have two with starting. The defense is starting to look actually decent. So who knows? This could be a lower scoring game, though. We could be looking at like 24 20. One of these teams, one of these teams has to win, though. Yep. But yeah. All right. Up next, we got the Rams and the Seahawks. Before the season started, this game, most people think this would be a blowout on the Rams side, but yeah. the Seahawks are probably just gonna blow out the Rams. Yeah, I don't think the Rams. It's not even that the Rams are bad. It's just they can't put up points with all their injuries. They are so injured. I don't think yeah. Stafford's gonna be back this week. No Cooper Cup. They got too many injuries for what it's worth Mm -hmm. so yeah i think seahawks need to get right on the back right on on, back on the right track can't speak the only way the rams can win this is if their defense holds them to like holds the seahawks to like 14 points and somehow the rams sneak out a few yeah touchdowns Mm -hmm. but yeah 
Up next, we have the Chargers and the Raiders. This could be a surprisingly, like, sneaky good game. Two divisional rivals. They played each other last year in Week 18 for a playoff spot. That was a good game, but this year, both of these teams are pretty mid. What are your thoughts? Uh, so, I don't, both of these quarterbacks have such a big name, and I don't think they deserve it. <laughs> Okay, Derek Carr, most important thing. He has just not played well. I honestly think it could be time for the Raiders to move on. It is very close to that. I mean, maybe another season, but he, they have a really good team right now. And it's still not clicking. But the problem with it is the whole reason they brought in Devontae Adams is because he played with Derek Carr in college. <laughs> and they were trying to get like well, that. You'd expect him not to get worse, right? Exactly. There was no re- there. This is there's no reason this season why Derek Carr should be performing worse. Yeah. And Josh Jacobs is having the best season of his career, and it's, yet. Yeah, it, their their team is scary. If Derek Carr could just put the pieces together. Mm-hmm. Him and the defense are really what's holding back this team. On the Chargers side, though. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of the opposite with the Chargers. I mean, it's... Justin Herbert has it. Mm-hmm. It's, I don't think he's elite like everybody thinks he is. <laughs> yeah, you, you've expressed that. I'm a yeah. big Justin Herbert supporter, though. But injuries are what has absolutely ruined the Chargers this season. I mean, yeah. they're, they're not even fully healthy still. And I still think they're going to win this game. They have much more to play for. They have a playoff spot still fighting for. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I, I also have the Chargers. It's just, I don't, I don't know. Both of these teams should be so much better. They they should be. These were two teams I had making the playoffs, and they both might Easy. miss it. They both yeah. might miss it. All right, up next, we have another great game this week, the Chiefs and the Bengals. I Chiefs. Yeah. Easily have the, If the Bengals weren't injured, it would be a very good game. Jamar Chase is injury. I think that's really what's going to hold them back because you think, especially in, especially in the first time they played last season towards the end of the year, Jamar Chase had like the game of his life. Mm-hmm. And then the second time they played, Mahomes had the worst second half I've ever seen out of him. I don't the Bengals, think. If they just go back to that like post. Uh, what's it called? Bye week Bengals that we saw last year. They're doing it. They're doing it though. Yeah, That's they're, they're, they're paying. They're playing so much better. It's just the injuries. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. Injuries are what's been ruining them. But they have they have two pretty good wins under their belt. They've won a defensive and an offensive game, which is what you like to see. But mm-hmm. Jamar Chase not being there is bad and i don't think mahomes i don't think they're gonna have another game where mahomes plays awful in the second half yeah what happened to uh joe mixon oh wait no mixon's gonna be playing this week he was hurt last week still i think not having not having jamar is going to hurt them yeah of course so yeah i'll take the chiefs okay all right on sunday night football the cowboys playing the colts one of the more boring Sunday night games, to yeah. be honest. The only way the Colts have a chance is if they keep it very close. I feel like that's a, the Cowboys' weakness. They ha- really do struggle when it comes to closing out games. Yeah, we either put forty on someone or just play horrible. Yeah, but I don't really see how Matt Ryan just even like has time against that pass rush. He can't. Create. Oh, no. He can't create time. He's not that anymore. Like there's certain yeah. quarterbacks, even like Daniel Jones, can maybe get away for like a second. Matt Ryan can't. Mm-hmm. So this should be a pretty easy Dallas win. Yep. Matt Ryan is not going to have a fun Sunday. Yeah. And then finally, to end off the week on Monday Night Football, we got the Saints and the Buccaneers. Uh, two very disappointing teams this season, especially the Buccaneers. Yeah. It's I just... mean, go. Yeah. The Bucks have just lost a bunch of games they shouldn't have. Last week was one of them. Yeah. They should not have, They should yeah. not have won last week. I mean, should not have lost last week. Yeah. And it's been That's a- how I felt about the Cowboys even against the Bucks. Yeah. yeah. 
it's been a reoccurring theme though. Like they've lost games to they've lost games that they shouldn't, and they've kept games close that they shouldn't. Like they were it took a last second Tom Brady game winning drive to beat the Rams. There are problems with both of these teams, but I am gonna still take the Bucks because I think they are better than the Saints. Yeah, I'm gonna agree there. Yeah. Saints Nah, they don't got it. Alright. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for coming on today. Of course, thanks. All right. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.